Uh, you're going with us as far as the battery will hold up. I guess I'll have to figure out how to get a better battery situ situation. But you're with us for as long as the battery shows up on a relevel. So this is a mess because we've done two before, and you need to empathize, empathize with the people who are doing any kind of work underneath the house. It's dirty, nasty, and bone grindingly muscle tough. So I kind of forgive the guys for just throwing the stuff in here with no organization whatsoever. But ultimately, uh, like this should not even be in here. It's not the right size. Uh, most, all the blocks I use are eight by 16s. But I've never used an eight by eight. Uh, or that's 12 by 12. So anyway, we've already been to this job. We've already looked at it, know what we're up against. Uh, they're concerned, and I'll show you why. But it's really not as bad as it might seem. Uh, but we're here to make them feel better about their house and uh, secure. So we are got all kinds of jacks. I've got air over hydraulics, which I don't use anymore because it's really heavy with the extra plate and extra. And you got to keep the hose clear and not have dirt, dirt get in it. This is exceptionally heavy compared to this. I'll have to measure sometime. But this is what you call it, air over hydraulic. And it goes tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a as you're pushing the button. But uh, anyway, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what we do. We're gonna get dressed first. We're gonna take a look, take the water level. If you watch any of the other videos, I actually show you how to make one yourself. Which this is my backup. Uh, so there's a small video on how to do that. This one just got to be finished sealed up right here so we don't lose our level. And it's very rugged. You can drop it on the floor. So we're going to take that down there and set up first after we get dressed to resist as much dirt as we can. Um, what was alarming to them the most is looking at this. And then that. Now when we pulled the skirting off, the perimeter blocking fell over. Now that's not what the structure sits on. This is to adjust this door underneath the floor joist. It's supposed to uh, adjust the door. Say if this side needed to go up to get the close it, you would jack up the frame over there, build your pier up to the floor joist, jack it up, and then let your frame down and it would push one side or the other of the doors with the perimeter blocking. Also helps stop the settling. In this case, uh, they didn't put anything underneath it. They kind of halfway set on the, the what you call concrete runners and they didn't put anything under there. But I, I mean, I want to say that's really lazy, but what happens is these guys get really, really tired and uh, they do a bad job because they're tired. So we're gonna make this better. And uh, although this is not, these two are not really part of the subject holding the house together or holding it well. This is just to support the door. All right. All right, we're under here. Uh, we set the water level up in the center of the house or somewhere close. So I can do 100 feet. 50 feet that way, 50 feet that way, 50 that way, that way. So what I'm going to do first is go through here and see where it is at a level. Okay, say so it's like a cracker box on top of this. We're trying to figure out what angles, where I'm going to have to jack up. And then I might compromise and say, you know, let's go down where we're at right here. And we'll go with that because most of it's at height. So that's what I'm doing. And it takes some experience to get good at it. Um, so that's what we've done is set our water levels to this frame. And then I found out that that side is, needs to go up about a quarter inch. So we're going to keep on going and uh, we'll, we'll determine what's going on. I, I don't have enough battery life to keep you through all of this. So I'll hopefully you'll watch all the films and we go tackling it yourself. But uh, I'll show you a film on how we get rid of all the air bubbles and uh, set it up to the frame. Uh, not this time, maybe, though, but next time. All right.